All right, hello, good morning, good evening, and good night. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic because today we are talking about the economic impact of the solar eclipse. So what a video right here. And I want to say good night to everyone. It's currently 11.10 where I'm at, almost 11.11, so make a wish if you can. And today we're talking about the economic impact of the solar eclipse. I just wanted to make this super quick video. I know it sounds super dumb. It's like, what kind of video are you making? An economic video on the solar eclipse? But... I want to show you some interesting facts about the solar eclipse and I want to present to you guys a video that you might have been like, yo, what the heck is this? So I want to show you guys today how the Dow Jones specifically has performed over the past 13 solar eclipse. We're going to talk about why it's actually coming true for this year so far. And I'm going to just kind of walk you through some people's opinions on what they believe might happen to the stock market, not only for tomorrow for the eclipse, but also just for the rest of this year, the rest of 2024. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, we're up to 4,270 subscribers. Haven't really gained any subscribers today, but I hope you can change that. Tell your friends, tell your family, and let's keep, let's keep this train rolling. Anyways, okay. So we're talking about the economic impact of the solar eclipse. This is the first thing starting off. So the solar eclipse here, if you look at this picture, just below these words here, just below, it looks like it's going to pass through Dallas, Texas. We see... Illinois, Indiana Poles, something like that. Cleveland is a big one. Buffalo, and it's going to pass through Canada as well, kind of where I'm at. I'm by Toronto. So we are going to see a little bit of an eclipse here too, which is awesome. Now, one thing to keep in mind is the total solar eclipse Monday could generate as much as $6 billion in economic activity as people look to travel along this line here. So if you live within Dallas, if you know any companies that are necessarily, you know, Dallas based, Cleveland based, Toronto based, you might see a little bit of an economic increase or in economic activity. You might see an economic increase in just kind of an influx of people, but also kind of the money. Wherever people go, they bring money with them and they're looking to spend along the way and enjoy this once in a lifetime event, quote unquote, depends when the next one will be. Now, okay. Most, as it, as it says here, a once in a lifetime event for roughly about 30 million people. Now, what I do want to do is I want to go to another article here. This kind of just highlights the fact of where the eclipse might be going through. Once again, it's kind of going to Dallas, Dallas up to Canada here by Toronto and Niagara, which is going to be cool. One thing, this is another thing here. It says Texas is forecast to enjoy the biggest economic gains by about 1.4 billion. So Texas is a big one here to kind of keep in mind. And there's an kind of an S, an estimator or an analyst on here that says it's partially due to Texas's large population and the number of big cities like Austin, Dallas that are in the path of totality. Totality being like the complete eclipse. That's what everyone's trying to go for with the eclipse. Now, keeping it rolling here, I want to show you something cool. It says that Dow posted a positive year, 10 out of 13 total solar eclipse years on the list from 1900s to 2017 so basically and i have this in another article here it says it somewhere as well it says that out of the 13 years that yes here 10 out of 13 years the solar eclipse happened it was from 1900 to 2017 they were positive years and only three years did they go down but when they did go down they went down hard and this was in 1925 in 19 no, that's not right. These are the three of the highest years. These are the three of the biggest gainers, where in 1925, the Dow Jones went up 30%. In 1945, the Dow Jones went up 26.6%. And then in 2017, it went up 25.1%. But there was an, a little thing here. Let me see if I can find that for you guys, where it mentioned that there was three years where the Dow Jones did go down. And it went down in a a little significant marker here so this is exactly it so what stocks look like during the eclipse years i wish i can a hey, we can highlight it perfect so see here that the majority of the time when the eclipse happens maybe it's because people are excited they kind of i don't want to say they necessarily push their finances out the way but maybe because eclipse draws a lot of people in it gets a lot of people excited it gets people buying things once again maybe that's why we have all these years of economic boom you can see back all the way to 1945 that there hasn't been a negative eclipse year since 1945. the only real negative eclipse years were 1930 and 1932 where they had the great depression and so that's kind of understandable 
but since then all positive years and how is this checked out so far you can see here that since the year to date calendar we've been at thirty seven thousand seven hundred dollars at the start in january and we're currently at about thirty eight thousand almost thirty nine thousand so on the current path we are on the current eclipse year path as expected from previous years 10 10 previous years out of the past 13 we have had positive years in the eclipse and that is what we're seeing here in the dow jones the dow jones was a market that was always watched the s p 500 obviously a lot newer but yet the exact same thing still a nice return i'm not sure if this is a 10 percent return or so so far this year but i guess we're bound to see and hopefully we can keep it on the positive side for the eclipse here so this is just a short little quick video not meant to be long at all i just wanted to say i hope you guys do enjoy the clips please do protect your eyes as well got to get those glasses and you know what maybe i'm going to start a glasses company whenever there's an eclipse coming around that's going to be a once in a 30 year business but you know we'll get it going <laughs> but you can see here that as well save your money everyone's going to be spending it i hope you guys take it not take advantage <laughs> but i hope you guys enjoy and it benefits your business or whatever your business might be and your pockets potentially I hope you guys do enjoy the eclipse as well and i wanted to bring you guys this good news hopefully leading into 2024 we can continue this year on a great note as we've been doing for the past little while we've had a little bit of a downturn right now but a lot of things are expected to go up there might be a bit of a five to ten percent downturn in the market soon but overall i think with the eclipse this year we should see overall good trends in the market so i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you guys did please do remember to subscribe We're up to 4270 subscribers we don't tend to make these types of videos but i wanted to bring it to you guys a nice late video and i hope you guys did enjoy so if you did you guys know what to do i hope you guys do take care i hope to see you guys in the next video and uh yeah have a good one guys